Hey, uh, Sheila, thank you for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your day with me. <clears throat> this is a video I'm redoing. I accidentally deleted it, and this is not my ideal time of the day to be up here in this room filming because it makes the lights on my tree have a halo around them. So there, if the video, if the lights look funny, it's because I'm having to redo a video. This video is about holiday stresses, the stresses of the holidays. Holidays are a very stressful time for some families. And I have met a wonderful friend here on YouTube. She's become a very, very dear and wonderful friend. Her name is Sunny. I'm going to tell you about Sunny and what Sunny does for the holidays. The holidays aren't really that stressful for my husband and I. Why well, are you saying you're Miss Money Bags? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we have a different approach to the holidays. We only buy six or seven gifts, and three of those are for nieces and nephews. My niece and nephew and his nephew. Yeah, we don't do a lot of shopping for the holidays. In 2009, our lives changed. He was in a terrible, terrible motorcycle accident in June, and then September rolled around, and we lost my baby brother. That was one miserable Christmas. It was. Someone commented on here that's known me for a very long time. Her name's Michelle. You have the sparkle back in your eyes. I didn't have any sparkle in 2009. I think I spent from June of 2009 till about April of 2010. I don't think there was a day that I didn't cry. So the holidays... That Christmas just, it wasn't special at all. I don't even know if I decorated. We are truly blessed to be living in the United States. One of the most prosperous and blessed countries in the world. And right here in the United States, we have families that struggle from week to week and payday to payday. payday. They're living on a very thin paycheck and then the holidays roll around and they want to do something for their children. Then they're faced with food on the table, utilities, and doing something for their children. Yeah. Sunny is a very talented and gifted woman. She has become, as I said, very special to me and we were talking. We have about the same approach to the holidays. It's not so much about the wrapping paper or the beautiful bow or how many dollars you spend on what's in the box. That's not really what the holidays are about to us. This year, for the 23rd year in a row, the week of Christmas, Sunny will go to Duke Power. Sunny lives nearby me. She's about 30 to 40 minutes away. Duke Power or Duke Energy is our biggest energy provider here in North Carolina. And she'll walk in and she'll say, I want the balances of the three top three accounts that you're going to disconnect this week. Here, this week of Christmas. Sometimes it's a large amount. She pulls out that checkbook and she pays it. She doesn't know their names. She doesn't know how or why they got into that situation. You know, the average person might say, well, you know, maybe they're blowing their money. Maybe they shop too much. Maybe they have an addiction. So he doesn't care what the problem is. She just doesn't want them to be without power on Christmas. I think that's pretty daggum special. And I think Sunny, my Sunny girl, I think she's extremely special too. She remembers the real reason for the holiday season. The recipients of her goodwill get a notification that a Good Samaritan has come in and paid their utility bill and they're caught up until the next month. So as we wrap our beautiful package and make our beautiful bows to go on it and 
slide our debit cards. I hope we all can remember that there are families out there struggling to put food on the table and have warm homes. And I'm thankful, so thankful for people like Sonny that remember that this time of year. Y'all have a great day. Make it a great day. It's always a great day to have a great day, my friends. Bye now.